What is up everybody? Lanky White Guy here. I am got something on the lens. All right, so uh, somehow I've convinced myself that I need to make a video today. And it's freezing out. I ended up having to go and get bus fuses because my like oh I did come on. Yes. <laughs> What I'm going to build today is a cleanup sluice out of a steel stud. That's what I'm thinking. I've got some V mat. I've got more than this, but I've got some V mat and I've got some silicone. I've got a steel stud for the sluice part of things. Oh, I had it in my hand. I got a bilge pump. I know I've got bunches of this kind of stuff down there. So we're going to see if we can figure something out and use that black tub right over there to make a recirculating sluice to clean up the Arkansas mess buckets because the Arkansas River has so many black sands that I've just got to clean this stuff up and it's so hard pan at a time because I pan a lot and it's still 15 minutes a pan just to get through the very fine gold in the very heavy black sand. I'm gonna to try to do this with mostly hand tools because I don't want to blow those fuses again. They're a bit expensive. Hand tools. As a side note, you should probably use these things. I didn't cut myself yet. Uh, hey, it's still in the cards. Just thought of something. I don't know how I'm gonna get my water to flow. It looks like this.
it. Pump. Now we gotta power this thing. So it's been a couple days and I've got the sluice together. Not much to put together there, obviously. But I need to power the pump somehow. So I'm just gonna yoink the battery out of my motorcycle. And maybe that'll power the pump. Who knows? We'll see. The water did not freeze last night, so I'm gonna see if the pump works and uh, have some coffee. And if the pump works, you guys are getting a video. If it doesn't, well, Looks like we got pumping happening. I don't know how long that battery is actually gonna last, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go in. I've had my buckets of dirt sitting inside, so they would be defrosted. So I'm gonna go get the dirt, the shovel, get this thing set up. We are gonna run the dirt today and see what gold was in the Arkansas River in that heavy, heavy black sand. Ooh. Getting a surge of power again. Stop it. Wash it down. Too much. Too much. Why are we doing this? Why? Into the black hole. I just recorded about three and a half minutes of footage walking to the garage. Haha, <laughs> so when I went to push record, I accidentally powered the camera off and talked for another three minutes or so. <sighs> anyway, don't know how many outfits or how many days that you've seen me working on this project, but um, I have finally got it all together, all done, got the dirt cleaned up. So I had two buckets, oh, actually I had just over a half of a bucket of material. Then I ran through the cleanup sluice from the Arkansas River, made it a lot faster to clean up. I got it down to one pan that took me just 15 minutes or so. Point is, if you're looking to maximize your time on the river, go ahead and build up cleanup sluice because that's what I did. And it seems like I'm gonna be processing material from the river a lot faster just because I have this sluice. The pump, I think I paid $12 online. I paid. 30 bucks for two, maybe. I don't know. It was really cheap. 1,100 gallon per hour bilge pump off of Amazon. I would say it wasn't more than 50 bucks. Maybe not even that. Maybe not even 50 bucks. And let me show you the gold before the camera dies or something. I left the water in there just so that hopefully it magnifies it a bit. That's precisely what I expected to find on the Arkansas River, was about a couple hundred little colors, tiny, tiny, microscopic little dots of gold, but with the cleanup sluice and having five feet worth of V-mat for it to get hung up in, I didn't lose that little gold. And if I set it up, put in a crash box, and of course, I need to get a voltage controller for the uh, 
for the, the pump because there were some surges of water that might have caused some washout. If, if you looked at it while it was going, you might not have noticed because it didn't really do anything to the bottom uh, two thirds, three quarters of the mat. It was still flowing just fine, but it did bust up like that and make a waterfall. So I've got to get a voltage regulator and wire it up, or I think they even sell them online to where you can control your pumps. It's a pump control. So I'm gonna look into that, build a little crash box for it. And I think I've got one heck of a little cleanup sluice here. So if you guys liked the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I know I don't put out a whole lot of videos like frequently, but I'm always gonna be putting out videos from now till forever. So you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button with confidence. Go ahead and click a thumbs up and a like on the video because that helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it's soon, right? Into the black hole.